Hey guys, it's me, Kilmerson, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. As always, I do every Saturday, it covers the week's FNAF news. So we've got a lot of Mort, a lot of PAX West stuff to talk about, so let's jump right into the Mort stuff right off the bat, because there's not a lot this week. So we got our first in-person look at the upcoming Hex products, a Spring Trap Hoodie, Landmark Chica Plus, and a Bon Bon Hand Puppet Plus. So we got our first looks at them. Well, we've seen them before, but now we're just getting them in like a video, because Docker did something. So we got... In the first image, we got Shadow Fuddy, Bon Bon, and Glamour Chica looking very cute. Close up image of Bon Bon screaming, doing a little jump scale. And we're gonna have a first look at an up, like, in person look, or kind of in person, you know what I'm talking about, of Docker wearing the uh, new Spring Trap putty, which looks pretty cool. It has the Spring Trap art on the back that you use for the Spring Trap card, I believe. And it has a nice, like, detail on the front of uh, Spring Trap's, like, decaying face or something like that. But it's very, very cool and very cool. But Ironically, that's all for this week's news. So, Daco is the one that actually gave us some more news this week. Now, it's time for the book news. We got a first preview of the Five Nights of Freddy's Tales from the Pizza Plex Graphic Novel Collection Volume 1. The novel includes illustrated adaptations of Unreal Construction, Haps, and Cletophobia, releasing on March 4th, 2025. So, I got a first look at these new books. that were the images of the book, and they look awesome, actually. They're very detailed. They look fun to read, and it looks like a blast. So, we got one of... I'm going to put them up here. We got one of, like, Buddy and Roxy fighting for some reason. It's like a roller coaster ride or something. How big is the Pizza Plex? That's what I want to know, because this place is huge. We also got one of Haps. Uh, I don't know. I can't say anything about Haps, because I never read it. And we got one of Ballora looking creepy as all heck. It, like, C is disturbing looking for someone. C looks like C's gonna do something about this. Is. But th they look amazing. The illustrations are wonderful. And I can't wait for this to come out on March 4th, 2025. So look forward to that. And now that is all for the book news. So we got some amazing game news. So let's just go into this. So, so Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin and Five Nights at Freddy's Help on the Tour will be released on Nintendo Switch in holiday 2024. So if you own a Nintendo Switch, and you want to play these games, well, lucky for you, because they're coming on the Switch on the 2024, at, like, winter time, Christmas time. So, if you want to get that for Christmas, go ahead. I don't know how well they're going to be formed, though, because I don't, I don't have a Switch, and I've heard things about the Switch uh, not performing the best. Uh, SMT5 didn't win the best, and that's my favorite game. But, if you like Five Nights of Freddy's, you own a Switch, might as well pick it up, you know. Uh, hopefully, it has physical distance of two, if you're a collector like I am. We got some Finance of Into the Pit information. So a lot of people have been asking me when the console ports of Finance of Into the Pit are going to be coming. And we got some information about that today. So they are waiting. The launch approvals and release dates will be announced any day now. So they expected it to this week. And it could be any day at this point. We let fans know as soon as we receive final approval. So basically, they're just waiting for them to actually get the approval before they can actually say anything. It's probably under a contract or something like that. And it's just so... It's probably a good thing anyway. So, any day now, any day they could say, I'll probably make a community post about it just in case for you guys to know. Awesome. You guys can play it on consoles. I already have it because I play on PC and it's a really awesome game and it's very good. So, I really want you guys to play it yourself. And we got some Dead by Daylight news. So, more information on the Dead by Daylight X5 Nights of Freddy's will be revealed in the next year. So, they said, hang on tight for now, folks. They only say much, but... It looks like it's gonna be a big thing instead of just a, like a cosmetic collab. It's gonna be like a new kill or a new survival and stuff like that. Just like the new Castlevania event that just happened. So if guys don't play Dead by Daylight, currently they just released a new update that has Castlevania like Dracula and uh, someone from the Baymont family or however you pronounce the last name of that vampire hunter family. And there was a skin for Alucard for the survival, which I really like. I like Sympathy of the Night the most. It's on, only when I played, ironically, but I like I like Alucard because he's such a cool character. But that's probably what I'm gonna get for Five Nights at Freddy's. A new killer, probably Swing Trap. I kind of wanted to be the mimic. I don't know why. And new survival. So and maybe a new map too. So it's gonna be a pretty big update when it comes out. So look forward to that, guys. And now we got our biggest news of this week, and it's and it's Five Nights at Freddy's Secrets of the Mimic. And we got some information that's gonna. There's a lot of information I'm gonna talk about. So let's just cover it right now. So uh, the Secrets of the Mimic will be featuring optional PlayStation VR 2 support. So digging deep into the past to discover the holders of the future. Five Nights at Freddy's Secrets of the Mimic coming soon. So that was on the PlayStation Store. And I guess it's having optional VR 2 support. So it's not going to be completely VR like Help Wanted, like the Help Wanted games. But instead, like, you can probably like move around, look around, and that's about it. 
crypto. Cool, cool. It's 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 an interesting thing, but uh, personally, I'm just gonna be playing it if it's like help on security weights. I'm just gonna be playing it with a controller, or if I have it on PC, keyboard, and mouse. But that's very awesome. So more people can use their VR headsets to get jump scaled and stuff. Like it's it's gonna be funny to see people's reactions. So we got some more information on Secrets of the Mimic, and it will be featured at the Fantastic Games 2024 presentation hosted by Day of the Devs in Austin, Texas. Running from September 20th to 22nd, and I believe this is when we're going to see our official gameplay reveal of Secrets in the Mimic. It is coming out in 2025, so I don't know when 2025 is going to be when it's coming out. But we did get some information today about it, but I'll talk about that later. But are you guys excited? Tell me in the comments below. I can't wait to see gameplay of this game. I know some people did currently, and I'm kind of jealous. But that's awesome. That's awesome news. And now, the PAX West information. So they did an entire big thing for Secrets of the Mimic. And some people have actually played the game. So we go, we're going to talk about what actually happened in the game. But first, we got a new animatronic that is a lady. A new lady animatronic that goes by the name of Jackie. Uh, she's a clown, just like it's like on the trailer, I believe. It's, it's not the Mimic. It could be the Mimic. It probably isn't. It's probably just another animatronic from the same factory. We'll go into that later. But her name is Jackie. She looks beautiful. A lot of people have been drawing stuff of her already. And I really like it. Uh, she's a very creative design. And it reminds me of the Paper Pals. Because Matt Patch stole my theory video. I made a short. It just did very badly on YouTube. But it basically said that the Mimic is a Paper Pal. And it was been hinting, hinted at throughout the entire series. But nope. My video didn't blow up. And Matt Pat got a million views. So makes me sad. But that's just how YouTube works. But I was onto something and I was correct. So yeah. So we got a new animatronic named Jackie and she looks very nice. And finally we got some details about the demo that some people played at PAX, PAX Rest. It was spoilers. I'm not going to... I will tell you to skip to this timestamp above. If you guys want to hear the spoilers, I'm just going to pop the image. I'm not going to be talking about this. I'm just going to be giving a synopsis of what happens. So basically, this is during Fall Fest. But you're not in Fall Fest. Instead, you're on the side of a toy factory. I know, sounds like Poppy's Playtime, but it's going to be completely different. So this explains a lot of stuff in uh, FNAF 4, to be honest, because uh, toy figures uh, and like toys, like the toys, toys, toy animatronics toys, uh, that could explain why they're in FNAF 4. Uh, there's probably just toys that they made of them, just later they became animatronics and stuff like that. So it's a very nice detail they actually did. Uh, so that kind of bring in the toy animatronics into the lore. It's very awesome. There's also a bunch of other stuff. It seems like it's going to be very chaotic uh, with the new animatronic and how they get beat up over the course of the demo. So that's going to be very awesome once we actually see gameplay of it ourselves instead of just saying, listening to someone. Uh, there's only two levels of uh, the manager's office and the chase. Chase sounds kind of obvious, you know, a chase, but yeah. I hope this is a big improvement over security breeds because I know a lot of people hated security breeds. I love security breeds, but it did have its problems. And I hope they learn from security breeds and uh, do improvements upon that and take their time with this game. No need to watch it. Just take your time. We can wait. Us from that fan fans can wait. We don't want a buggy mess like last time, even though I did love the game. And that is all for the game news. And now we got some movie news. It's not big or anything. So it's just a Five Nights at Freddy's photo op has been set up in Universal Studios. This buddy, Chica, Bonnie, and uh, Foxy. So, if you want to take a photo at Universal, you can take a photo of Freddy Fazbear now. So, yeah. But that is all the news for this week. A lot of news about the Secrets in the Mimic, which is awesome because we've been really looking forward to that game. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. It, if you subscribe and like, it tells me that you actually enjoy this video. And commenting always helps out. So, tell me what you think about this information about the Secrets in the Mimic or anything else I talked about in this video. But... Crazy week, crazy week, and I'll see you guys next week.